down at the lake getting my morning jog in and I came down to the beach and I'm seeing a lot of trash. And sometimes I pick it up and sometimes I don't. And then I started thinking, do you ever feel bad about what you choose to do or choose not to do for conservation? Exhausting. I want you to stop feeling bad. No more guilt, no more shaming, done with it. It's time for a change in our approach and our mindset when it comes to conservation. I'm Megan Haney Greer and today on The Imperfect Conservationist, I'm gonna tell you how you can stop beating yourself up about this stuff and better yet, turn it into impactful conservation action. And it all starts right now. It's likely that somewhere along the line you have felt bad about the things that you haven't been able to accomplish when it comes to conservation and living more sustainably. And it's no surprise, I mean just the sheer size of the issues we face with climate change and everything in the environment, it can be completely overwhelming. And there's a handful of reasons you don't just jump in headfirst when it comes to making these changes in your life. You maybe feel like you don't have enough time to fit it in, or it seems like it could be too expensive. Maybe you just don't know what you can do, or if it'll even make a difference. And look, you're not alone. In fact, 77% of people surveyed say that they want to be doing more for conservation. But time keeps going by, and the bad news keeps coming, and then you start feeling bad because you haven't been doing more. And it becomes like this little black cloud of obligation hovering over your shoulder. And it turns into this thing that you will only face when you absolutely have to. Kind of like doing that group project at work or hanging out with your in-laws. The problem with this, besides the fact that it just sucks to feel that way, is that it doesn't result in any kind of action. And of course, in this case, we really do want to do this. Because, I mean, who doesn't want a greener, cleaner planet? So not only does this feeling bad not get the job done, it can actually have the exact opposite effect. We feel helpless and we get all down on ourselves and start that negative inner dialogue. You know what I'm talking about. And we end up feeling like we have failed before we've even begun. So we need a better strategy. How do we stop beating ourselves up and start taking action to improve the world around us? Well, here are the three things that I do that have helped me turn my conservation guilt into inspired conservation action. First thing, when it comes to conservation, just like in parenting or relationships or choosing the toppings that are acceptable to put on your pizza, you've got to pick your battles. There is no way you can do it all and you don't need to. Picking and choosing what actually works for you in your day-to-day -day life is vital to making it sustainable. The changes we make in our lives must be our size, and that way you can keep doing it. So picking your battles of what changes you're gonna make and how big they are is number one. Second thing is to simply focus on what you do. That's it. Not comparing yourself to the people you follow on social media or the neighbors with the Tesla and solar panels, just you. Comparing ourselves to what others are doing and able to do is super intimidating and ultimately can keep us from acting. Conservation is not one size fits all either. We are all different with different circumstances and resources and responsibilities. One thing I know for sure is that change, it's an inside job. It starts with you and in your own home. So instead of trying to beat the Joneses, which always is sucky, celebrate the positive changes you're able to make. That will keep you moving forward and with your head held high. The third thing I do to keep inspired and turn this kind of immobilizing conservation guilt I can sometimes get into action is to share, talk about it, like I'm doing with you here. The successes, challenges, ideas, not compare, but just share. This can be on social media or with friends and family or just you know, finding those that want to make changes too. Really the point is, is that it can just be incredibly inspiring for both sides to connect and share on this stuff. Especially if you have a child in your life, 
Teach that kiddo how their actions and choices matter. The environment above all else is what we all have in common. So the next time you're feeling bad or coming up with all the reasons why you just can't do it, see it for what it really is, an opportunity to just tweak your approach and start taking action for the planet. You pick your battles, focus on what you can do, and definitely make sure to share it with those around you and pass it on, especially the kids. This is where you get to see how the good changes you make don't just stop with you. They inspire others to make positive changes too. And that is exactly how small actions drive big change. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and maybe some of these things that I do to help inspire me and spur me into action will help you as well. Please take a minute and subscribe below so that we can keep in touch and make sure to hit that bell icon if you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks for hanging with me today on The Imperfect Conservationist. I'll see you next time. Stop feeling bad. No more feeling bad. Just do what we can. Little bite-sized pieces. Boom! That's how we get there. That was my free flow. That's it. That's all I got.